Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Believe it was another gray, cool, and damp day at times. We dodged the severe weather just to our southeast of this afternoon, and hopefully we'll do the same tomorrow with a limited risk in our eastern counties for the late morning and early afternoon hours. But today, as I mentioned, was cooler than normal, at least the high. 49, just a little bit below average, but 65 was all we could muster late this afternoon, 9 below the average, and we'll be in that same ballpark again tomorrow before temperatures slowly warm back to normal over the weekend. But Highs today range from the low 60s in our northern counties to low to mid 70s down to the south. And once again tomorrow, we will see a range like that as a cold front moves on through the area. Live first warning Doppler showing the next wave of scattered showers coming up from the southwest. But the severe weather threat has ended. Again, that passed off to our southeast this afternoon. We could hear a little thunder overnight, but again, no big storms to worry about. But those storms will begin to get a little more energetic after daybreak tomorrow morning. And rainfall amounts today weren't all that heavy and for a change western Kentucky missed out on the heaviest rain most locations though coming in at a half inch or less mostly cloudy skies right now dry in Owensboro on our roofclaim.com tower camera downtown Evansville our superior ag tower camera with a temperature of 63 the dew point is not far behind and with a south wind it's kind of a mild somewhat muggy night it's not going to really drop that much more we're in the low 60s right now will drop to around 60 degrees by by daybreak tomorrow morning. Most of the severe weather day was off to our south and southwest, but this evening all of those storms are pretty much fading away. No warnings on the board right now, but this is what we have to deal with tomorrow. This upper level low that's going to pinwheel to the east, increase our rain, and then gradually pull away to the east as we head through Friday night and Saturday. Here are the storm reports from today. Most concentrated down here in the Arklatex where there were a couple reports of tornadoes, and there's that damaging wind that developed just to our southeast and south central Kentucky, north central Tennessee, including the uh, Bowling Green area there in south central Kentucky, where there was a little bit of wind damage. So as we head through the next 24 hours, the focus will be on the upper level low moving our way this evening. Just some scattered showers coming up from the south, and Future Tracker picks them up even more so by daybreak tomorrow morning when there could be a little bit of thunder. Those scattered showers and a few thunderstorms will gradually increase wide range in temperatures, and these highs will be midday from the mid 60s in Fairfield around 70 here in the metro mid 70s in our southeastern counties but falling in the afternoon and the severe threat is just a marginal level one risk in roughly the eastern third of the tri-state mainly for a little large hail if these storms get their act together mainly late tomorrow morning early afternoon you can see at 4 p.m. the stronger storms beginning to pull away so that's our limited severe threat and then hopefully later in the afternoon the rain be really begins to diminish and we dry out some as we head into Friday night, which will still feature a few light showers, and then cloudy skies Saturday morning, and those clouds gradually giving way to some sun from north to south as we head through Saturday afternoon. Derby looks dry, but kind of cloudy and chilly in Louisville, and then for Sunday, Mother's Day, Finally, temperatures back to normal with sunshine, just a few clouds and highs in the mid 70s. But overnight tonight, mostly cloudy, a little scattered rain, maybe a thunder shower. Mild temperatures, upper 50s to low 60s, mostly cloudy tomorrow. Showers and a few thunderstorms increasing in the morning, slowly diminishing in the afternoon. A breezy, cool midday high, 64 to the northwest, 75 down to the southeast. Seven day forecast, gradual clearing on Saturday, a breezy, cool 68 for the high. Mother's Day, Partly cloudy, warmer, and 74 degrees. And next week, still looking very summer-like with high temperatures each day in the mid to upper 80s. Overnight lows in the low to mid 60s. And nothing more than a pop-up shower during the heat of the day with plenty of sunshine. And that will be a nice change of pace from this wet and somewhat stormy pattern we've been stuck in now for the past few weeks. All right. Thanks a lot, Wayne. Yeah.